Welcome back. And yes, it's time for Winner Home and Afternoon Express, where we follow three young, talented designers as they transform three empty properties at Valdeby Estate into dream homes using finishes provided by Caesar Stone and Plascon. And at the end of it all, we're giving away one of those completed apartments worth over three million rand to one lucky viewer. Earlier on in the week, our three design contestants met up with their mentors to look at their bathroom plans and be inspired by the wealth of experience their mentors have to share. After narrowly losing out to Rudolph in the guest bedroom challenge, the pressure is building for Joanne as she needs to wow the judges with her bedroom design. And what's going to happen here? We're going to put white tiles all the way up. Oh, that's a good idea. All the way and then on the ground as well. So we'll have this white tile shower okay. and then we're going to go with grey on the should we go with grey on the... Or the weren't you going to do a cement? Yes, like it's like a dark grey cement kind of I think floor. that would be great. Your bath is white? Yes, and white walls. Okay. And I think it's very important that you pull the colours that you had in the bedrooms and in the other parts of the room, okay. pull it through into the bathroom. Okay. Because it is actually part of that bedroom. Yes. Okay, great. So we should try and incorporate the copper somehow. Yeah, no, we definitely will incorporate the copper. That's what we're, we're going to have the vanity. We have the concrete basin that Cedar Stone is making for us. I think it's brilliant that you're bringing in the natural materials and it will be a very good contrast, the warmth of the wood against the coldness of the, the concrete. Okay, and a mirror? Yeah, a large floating mirror. It's going to be about this far from the, from the wall. And I love the idea that it's standing away from the wall and it will just create the depth. Yes, yes. No, I think it's fabulous. The judges liked Minentle's use of colour in the guest bedroom, but he's going to have to up his game from a design and saleability perspective if he plans to catch up with the others. In terms of our references, do you want to take me through exactly what you had in mind for walls, floors, ceilings? What's our wow factor? How are we going to set ourselves apart? I think what's going to have us stand out is having this huge feature wall. So I have this idea of having a mosaic feature wall. For the mirrors, I want to do something different, uh, whereby I take up this concept of the, the frame, which is um, I get from the guest bedroom. With the palette that I came up with from the guest bedroom, I'm taking it into the bathroom, the very earthy colors, and I'm gonna liven it up with some plants as accessories around the bathroom, just to give it some life. Remember I said I'm going for the Caesar stone and you recommended the other one? Yeah, and, and you wish you went the other one. Yeah, and yeah. We couldn't use the same Caesar stone for yeah, everything, yeah. everything, everything. As much as I probably would have wanted to as well, but those are when you make those hard decisions where you actually do it because it's strategic. I think focus on, firstly, the technical drawings, um, just really get into grips with the planning and that. You obviously remember, if you're relying on other people, you have to give them enough time. I think the Caesar stone is crucial because we didn't have um, element in the last uh, challenge, so make sure that that one's really strong. Um, definitely on it. I'm very excited with this project. Uh, we got this. Rudolph may have come out on top for the first challenge, but with no time for complacency, he's already looked at ways to set his bathroom design apart from the competition. Michelle, I really like this Pura Vida range, which is white, one of my favorite colors. And tell me, what do you think of the shower aid? I really do like the shape of it. It's really organic. It's really an art piece by itself. I like it. I think it's going to add to the spa-like feeling of your bathroom. And I think it's a, it's a designer piece. It's going to add huge value to the bathroom. What I do like about it is that it will fall straight down. And with the main bathroom, we have a much shorter shower than in the guest bathroom. Well, let's go and see what it looks like. Let's go. So, Michelle, this is Michelle Kavit from Unscrew. Hi. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Michelle, I would like to know if this is going to be the right choice for me. I really like the Pura Vida range. I am concerned about the splashing that's going to happen in the shower because I don't have shower doors and also about the eco-friendliness. It's obviously a valid concern for any bathroom and this particular shower head is great because it uses eco-smart technology that combines three parts air with one part water which uses only nine litres of water per minute but you've still got your triple XL size shower head factor which means if you look at the human body from the top, it forms a rectangular shape. So this particular shower head will cover the entire body. Would you like to see how it works? Yeah, sure, please. Yay! <laughs> and do you have a matching hand shower? Of course we do, Rudolph. 
You can have a look at this rather voluminous Pura Vida hand shower here. And it's got um, the white chrome, which matches your overhead shower. Mm. One of the functions is a massage function. I like that. <laughs> I really like that. This is great. Yeah, especially for us mouth here. Wow, now with only a few days left, the pressure is really on. Another factor our design contestants need to take into consideration is who will be purchasing the apartment they're designing. At different stages of our lives, we all have different needs. Now Bonnie's on the couch to learn more. So as people progress through different life stages and their family structures and financial situations change, so do their housing needs and preferences. We have Tim Akinusi with us in the loft, who's the Head of Sales and Client Value Management at Nedbank Home Loans. Welcome back, Tim. Lovely Thank to you. have you with us again. Thank you, Bonnie. So typically when you first leave your parents' home, um, you're looking to possibly rent an apartment. I mean, what should we be thinking about at that stage of our lives when it comes to eventually owning a home? So yeah, I think uh, to start off with, you know, when you do leave your parents' home and if you uh, perhaps maybe don't get a windfall of some money to put into a new place, uh, the typical route is to start to rent. Mm -hmm. Because with rental, you then just limit and you cap your, your expenses uh, to just the rental. The intention really is that you don't go in there and just rent and continuously rent for over a prolonged period of time. But really, when you start renting, you should be thinking about how to get into property, so therefore you should be saving from, uh, from the onset. Yeah. Um, we don't think that there's any particular life stage that one needs to get into property. It really is about uh, when you are economically active and you have some savings, you should get in and find something that suits your um, life stage at that point in time. Yeah, right, so the next stage of life is you've moved out of your parents' home for a while and now you understand that you need to start investing in your future and buying your first home. What are the most important considerations? I remember when I first bought my home, I, I think I made a few mistakes. <laughs> I know far better now. <laughs> Hindsight's the best side, but what, what do I need to consider? I think firstly, when you are in the process of deciding on buying a house, you should start to think about it from the time you're even renting. So you're never too young to get into the um, investment market and property is one of those investment classes that, that you can get into. And the idea is that when you buy your first house, you stay in it long enough to, to pay some equity into it by paying down the, uh, the debt. And over time, you expect that the house should the market conditions be correct, to appreciate in value. And when you eventually do sell that because your life stage has evolved, maybe you've now found a partner, you want to settle down, you then have the um, ability to have uh, some savings based on what you've paid into the house, as well as the appreciation of the, of the property itself, mm -hmm. to then put a nice down payment into the next house. Yeah. And by doing this, what it allows you to do is to influence your loan to value, so banks can see that you're committed to, um, to this particular property. And secondly, you have more influence over the rate that we give you on your property. Yeah. And so that sets you off on a good course to continue to do the same thing. Pay more into that property, the house appreciates, and as your family enlarges, you can then look at um, you know, buying your third home. Yeah. Or even if it's just to be able to start to create some level of wealth by paying down this house and uh, then leaving it as a legacy to your kids. Yeah. Um, or to do some other things with it from an investor standpoint. Yeah. Is there such a thing as being too young to buy property? That's the great thing about it is that you're never too young. As long as you're economically active and you can afford it, it's the right thing to do because you are putting yourself in a position where over time you can create something that will be left for you over the next five to 10 years. So um, my view is that the narrative on um, property being for the older generation mm -hmm. should change because uh, as long as you have an intention of paying for the place and looking after it, it should serve you all as an asset. Thank you so much, Tim. I'll definitely make better decisions when I'm buying my next property. <laughs> NetBank can help and assist you through all the different stages of life, wherever you might call home. Make the things that really matter happen with NetBank. For more information, visit www.netbank.co.za forward slash home loans.
Remember, you can head over to privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favourite bathroom. By casting your vote, you stand a chance of winning paint from Plascon to the value of 5,000 Rand. You will also automatically be placed into the grand prize draw, where you could win one of those completed apartments at Felder V, worth more than 3 million Rand. When a home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank. We'll be right back after this.